So I'm going to go ahead and click on these different tabs so we can see how this was constructed. The design tab takes us to the selection as to what kind of graph you want. They clicked on the line graph. You have other options here as to what color for the grid, how many grid lines you would like. I oftentimes don't have any, but you can put them in there. Whether or not you would like to have a 2D or a 3D or a shadow effect, and whether or not you'd like to have a legend or no legend. That is labeling the, uh, the different axes. The data is really the um, important part here. We want to put a graph title on there. We put the source of the data. And then in this case, in this box, we have the data set. So we have 11 different items or 11 different points on the x-axis into which we would like to enter our data. So items means points on the x-axis. And the data or value are the uh, numbers that come from the survey that will be reflected as percents on the y-axis. So there's the x-axis here, and here is the y-axis, if you would like to think of it like that. And there's only one group. If we had two groups, it would give us two columns for each one of those different groups. So if I switch this, say, to two groups and ask for two groups, it would say the, the same date, but get, put another value in there for that second group. And that second group might be private high schools or private education. So we'll go back to one where it is uh, to be put in and to match up with this example. The labels, uh, this is for the graphics, the fonts, and other things which go on the, the, um, the graphic. And finally, there's your button to preview. When you go to print save, then it gives you to uh, uh, these options to download as text, as HTML, uh, and so forth. So you can download this as a PDF, requires Acrobat, or as some other uh, kind of uh, web page or other media. As I mentioned, the example I'm going to do is going to be taken from this article, the one we have uh, loaded onto Blackboard. The survey provides a number of different tables with raw data, and what we're going to do is create a visual display. One of the things that we liked about this article is the fact that it includes the entire survey itself so we can see models of questions that uh, for you to uh, use or to modify for the types of applied projects that you might be wanting to do. But we're going to go on to table 3 on page 558 for the example that I would like to choose. On page 558, table 3 presents the information for, and responses on this survey to a series of questions. I'm going to do this one right here. How familiar were you with OMT before medical school? And there are three responses. And I'm going to create a bar graph. I may have said line graph. I've changed my mind. I'm going to create a bar graph of these numbers. Now, I'm going to do the percents. So I'm going to actually be using the ones in parentheses, since those uh, are those represent a, a total of 100% and they'll be will be able to interpret the proportion of responses rather than just the raw numbers. Now for the sake of clarity and accuracy I want to just go over the responses one time here that how familiar were you with OMT before medical school? That's the question. The answers are 3.9% were very familiar. 28% were somewhat familiar, and 68.1% were unfamiliar. Now we'll go ahead and graph those results with the create a graph. Now on this part of the create a graph, we've selected design, we selected bar graph. Now we're going to go to the data page, and you can see on the data page that I've filled in the title of the graph, familiarity with OMT prior to medical school, and the x-axis is going to be familiarity. Uh, on that three-point scale, three-part scale, and then the y-axis is percent. The source of the survey is this survey of allopathic residents' attitudes. 
there are three items remember those are the three data points on are the three um, measurement points on the x-axis uh, unfamiliar somewhat and very familiar and the data points themselves or the values are the percent numbers which match each one 68.1 percent 28 percent and 3.9 percent and I've set the entire minimum maximum value from 0 to 100 to reflect that uh, the fact that this is a, uh, a larger spread of scores and I'm going to go ahead and look at the preview and see what this looks like oh okay so I've got my label here this is residence I have the three steps from unfamiliar to somewhat familiar to very familiar so I get to see this displayed in graphic form there's my scale from 0 to 100 percent on the side of the point values on that percent scale and there's the source of the survey down here so we could have gone back and forth between these if we needed to make any adjustments if it didn't come out accurately or if our labels and the different areas that we wanted to fill in weren't done properly so that's how you use the tabs to fill in the data uh, good luck with your uh, own visual displays and uh, we'll look forward to seeing those on the Blackboard website.